hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl nene if you're sorry my baby was farting if you're new here make sure you like comment subscribe don't forget to turn on your notifications don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video and if you are new here welcome 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 let me tell you about this channel real quick and then we're gonna get into it because i don't want to make this video too too long um This channel is raw, <laughs> authentic, unedited. You know what I mean? Where you going? <laughs> raw, authentic, no judgment. What you see is what you get. It is what it is. You did. Excuse the hair, y'all. I watched it um, a couple days ago. And, um... Because y'all know I usually have my bonnet on. So I just put it in two puffs. I got a third one back here because uh, the hair was coming out. So there's a third ponytail back here. Um, but yeah, y'all. So for those of you who are new, because I did see that I've gained like seven new subscribers. So welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. Hopefully you went through videos you know because i got so plenty um check out old videos you know all the way up to today you know <clears throat> i will say i do have a hard time with being consistent and i know i keep saying it but i'm gonna try and work on that now that i got my career back to myself and my daughter and my son i ain't gonna say new because he's not new now but anyway so i put up a post yesterday um saying what mukbang should be my next video and the options were pizza and wings um <clears throat> ramen noodles uh an item from trader joe's for those of you who do not watch that video, I know it was kind of like all over the place and I was kind of like rushing through the store. So I didn't get to really check out Trader Joe's like I really wanted to. But um, an item from Trader Joe's or shrimp and oysters over rice. And only I think two people voted or whatever. Out of the 327 of you, only two people voted. Um, and what had the highest percentage was an item from Trader Joe's. Now, <laughs> show where you're laughing. About that, I'm not going to do just one item. Because the items that I chose, first of all, y'all, this is my dinner. I'm eating at like, it's what, 3 o'clock? Usually I eat in between 4 and 6. That's my dinner hours. So, I'm actually eating this early. I'm only eating it early because of the lighting. I know this is ain't this ain't real good lighting, but it's, it's, it's as good as it's going to get. Okay? The lighting. I don't want it. I didn't want it to get dark and then try to film a video. And, you, you know, y'all like, oh, we can't really see. So, that's why I'm eating it early. <laughs> so, the two items that I chose, for those of you who did see the Trader Joe's video... Um, I'm not going to tilt these too much because I don't want nothing to fall out. But, um, you can see in the thumb, the, the thumbnail as well. It's this Cuban style citrus garlic bowl. And it has juicy chicken thigh with seasoned rice, black beans, and sweet plantains, and a zesty citrus and garlic sauce. I'm excited about this one to see what this tastes like. Um, one, because I like sweet plantains and it has like a garlic sauce. The only thing that's kind of like, eh, is the zesty citrus. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really a person who eat like oranges, uh, uh, lemon. You see me drink lemonade, but you know what I mean? You won't ever see me squeeze lemon on any type of, like, food or nothing. No. Been there, done that, tried it, mm, don't like it. 
This one, I'm a little worried about, y'all. This one, I'm going to eat first. I'm, I don't want to tilt this too much because it's real saucy. But I'm going to pick y'all up and I'm going to show y'all. Y'all see my baby? <laughs> okay. Oop. Oop. Sorry, y'all. Y'all probably like, this girl is all over the fucking place. I am. And what about it? So this is what it is. It's lamb vindaloo to my Indian people. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, lamb uh, vindaloo. And the reason why I said I'm a little worried about this one is because it says authentic Indian recipe, but it's lamb in spicy curry sauce with basmati rice now i'm scared because one i've never had lamb before i oh i've always wanted to try lamb chops but first of all that shit is expensive and i can rarely ever find it but i've never tried lamb before i've never had curry before and i heard curry is spicy um and it says spicy curry um yeah, and, and, and y'all know I don't do well with spicy food. And everybody knows Indian food is known to be spicy. Or, you know, they're known for their spices. Yes, I have eaten Indian food before, but I get shit. I order shit that I know ain't fucking spicy. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to eat this first. Hopefully it's not too spicy. And then... I'm going to eat the Cuban style uh, bowl. Again, I'm eating two of these. So these two items is from Trader Joe's. So these two items, I'm, I'm eating two of them because one, I haven't eaten all day. And this is my first time eating today. And this, again, technically is my dinner. And one of them was not going to. So, oh, and then in this cup right here, my new cup, um, Mountain Dew. Y'all. Mountain Dew is one of my favorite drinks. If you don't know, now you know. Mountain Dew is one... Sorry, I just got a pain in my... In my... No, it's not what y'all thinking. I, I was trying to get it out. I just got a little sharp pain in my tit. Anyway, we're going to say grace and we're going to get it in. Heavenly Father, I come before you asking you to bless this food that I'm about to receive. I ask that you allow it to be nourished into my body and bless the hands that prepared it. And we give you all the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. What the palate. So this is regular Mountain Dew. But my favorite one is the blue one. Yes, these are TV dinners. Clearly, you can see the box. Now, when I heated this up, it's it's... I ain't gonna lie, it smells good. It, it does, it smells good. But I'm worried about the texture of the lamb and then the spiciness. Again, I've never had lamb before and I've, I've never had curry before. So, I'm a little scared. Y'all pray for me, cause y'all know I don't do well with spice. And the reason being is because people be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to say some people be worried about when they eat spicy food, they be more so worried about their stomach hurting. Damn that. I be worrying about my asshole. Excuse me for being so vulgar. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are new, y'all, if y'all look at, or if y'all go back and watch old videos, and up until now, I don't give a fuck. Okay? I got a potty mouth. Ooh, hoo, hoo. How dare y'all just tip over like that? How dare y'all? And yes, I got this sitting up on totes. Okay? Call it ghetto if you want. This is my little setup, okay? 
I gotta get me like one of them table joints. I know the old school table joints. Then again, I think that'll be too low. Don't y'all think them little table joints people be eating off of where it folds out? Okay, we're not gonna be able to fit all the rice in here. First of all, this 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 shit this 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 kind of no shit kicks me. <laughs> I'm so pissed off I can't even talk. This kind of shit pisses me off. They give you more rice than the main shit. Like, what am I supposed to do with all this extra rice? There you go. Look, there we go. All right, y'all. Pray for me. I'm so scared. Again, the spice and the lamb. Oh. And it's hot. I don't know if y'all can see the steam or not. It's hot. I just heat, heated these up. Who smell their food before they eat it? I do. I'm scared. I didn't even get a piece of meat, y'all. <clears throat> y'all already know what it is. If it ain't the meat. <gasps> it's not nasty. But it's spicy, y'all. Like, already. That one little scoop. And I can feel it on the roof of my mouth and in and, and, and the back of my throat a little bit. I'm scared. But I ain't going to waste it. I'm going to eat it. But I feel like if I continue to eat it, the heat is going to build up. And you already know. When you eat something spicy, you ain't supposed to eat the shit. You ain't supposed to follow it with like soda or some shit, cause you know soda is acidic, so it don't do nothing but make it burn even more. But it, I did just now that that spoonful y'all saw me do that I did have a piece of lamb on there. It's actually the texture is fine. It kind of reminds me of like beef stew meat so i think we good here it's just the heat that that that's <laughs> it's not unbearable but it's like i can feel it in the back of my throat but anyway how have y'all been I miss y'all. Mm! Again. Who is telling y'all that y'all can lay down? I'm trying my god, I got my phone. Lean against uh, a candle. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I don't want to drink no soda because I already know it's going to fucking burn. But yeah, how have y'all been? I do miss y'all. <laughs> Y'all probably like, yeah, whatever, bitch. Why you on post if you miss it? Again. 
I'll be wanting to give y'all good content. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, I'll be wanting to have shit to talk about. You know what I mean? I don't want to always come on here and give you updates and stuff like that. I'll be actually wanting to have shit to talk about. But I haven't strayed away from y'all completely. I do post shorts. You know, like stuff that I have cooked and stuff like that. I do show y'all my meals and what I eat. I just don't do a full blown moot ball. I hope everyone's March month is going well. I hope everyone is blessed, safe. I'm sorry, I had, I got a drink. Y'all. Okay, I thought it was gonna burn more. Who eats and don't drink nothing? Like who eats their whole meal without drinking anything? I can't. I gotta have something. <laughs> I gotta have something to drink. Whether it's something like that. Whether it's a salad. If it's a salad, I don't drink like soda, juice, or nothing with it. I drink water. Oh my lord, y'all. Lord, please bust my booty hole. Mm. Cause I'm like eating spicy shit and then when you go to poop your butthole burn that's what i be worrying about that's why i don't really eat spicy shit damn my stomach my stomach can bubble burn or whatever the case may be but my butthole oh no Ooh. I can't even talk and I still got a whole nother side. Mm -mm. I'm going to take a break on this. <clears throat> and dive into the Cuban. Okay, y'all. I did it. I ate one side. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. 
Let's get into the Cuban style bowl. I'm excited for this one. So I'm gonna pick y'all up and show y'all what it looks like before me like stirring it and shit. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh -oh. Shit balls. <laughs> Oh, my mouth is on fire. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, I know they didn't give me just one fucking plantain. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, my Lord, my mouth is on fire. But yeah, y'all. We've been good. Um, for those of you who are interested, um, of course, as y'all know, I have a daughter um, who is considered disabled. She's developmentally delayed. She doesn't <clears throat> walk, crawl, stand, talk. She just makes sounds. It's not funny. <laughs> Um, none of that. I mean, now she's starting to stand, but not on her own. She's standing in physical therapy and occupational therapy. But, um, she's been doing good. Um, I try to keep her as healthy as, as much as possible. Um, she rarely ever gets sick. Because, listen, I don't play that. I do not play that. Oh my. I'm really mad that they gave me this one small piece of fucking plantain. I don't know if y'all can see the steam. Y'all see the steam? Hell no, because I can't even see it. Anyway. <clears throat> it's not funny <laughs> but she's doing good y'all um for those of you i don't know if i ever told you guys she had a small hole in her heart they say it's common they say everybody got it or whatever um or has it had it whatever i don't know she had a small hole in her heart and on the 14th of this month we went to her cardiologist for those of you who don't know, that's a heart doctor. And she was seeing him every year. Um, well, on her fifth birthday, after her fifth birthday, oh, for those of you who don't know, my daughter's five, she'll be six in two months. Um, in May, she's a Taurus. Um, <clears throat> they looked at her heart or whatever, you know, through like ultrasound and stuff. The hole finally closed up. Um, Cause if it wouldn't have closed up, the next step I think would have been surgery. And listen, my daughter has had enough surgeries. It's a plenty and I don't like it when she has to have surgery and all that. Um, so I thank God that the hole did finally close up and then the lady was like, Oh, that's one less doctor you had you know, you have to go see and um we didn't need to make a follow up, so we don't have to go see a cardiologist anymore. Which is good. That's one less doctor we gotta go see. But she still has her lung specialist, her bone and spine doctor, um her G-tube doctor, for those of you who don't know what a G-tube is, is a thing in her stomach where she gets mostly her food. She gets fed through her G-tube. It goes straight to her stomach. And her medications go through there as well. She does eat by mouth here and there, depending on what it is. But, <clears throat> yeah, so lung specialist, G-tube doctor, bone and spine, 
and she has a um she has a vp shunt on the right side of her head for those of you who don't know what that is it's a device or whatever that drains the fluid that accumulates in her head um there's like this uh tube thing that goes from the vp shunt around her ear down the back of her neck down her chest and into her stomach that's where the fluid goes um so is it a neurologist yeah we she still has a neurologist but she doesn't go see her unless it's an emergency like unless there's something wrong with her vp shunt which thank god you know don't nothing be wrong with it other than that lanai is doing great healthy long tall she's over a little over three feet tall she's gonna be tall as shit y'all and i don't know where she got that from because i'm short i'm like five foot exactly and i think her dad is like five five or some shit um yeah and all her therapies she's doing real good oh let me try this y'all it's hot temperature wise ah oh my god ah! it's not funny damn it and i think i ate the <laughs> oh i was about to say i think i ate that whole damn thing of sweet plantain it was hot in temperature. Now, mind you, I had been eating the spicy shit. So hot in temperature and then on top of spicy, it kind of like burned my tongue. So that's why I was like, oh. But anyway, this is good, y'all. I like this. I like that you got I really don't taste the like the garlic sauce type thing I'm trying to think if I taste the zesty citrus Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh my god, hot, hot. A little bit. Very little. And then you get a little hint of cilantro. No, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I do not. I do not like cilantro. Sorry, I got it sitting down. I got, what you laughing at? I got it sitting down here. I mean, it's not like y'all can see anyway. What is sitting here? I don't even see this damn bowl. Yeah, I think I like this better than that. Again, that's not nasty, but the spice. I like to actually enjoy my food. I don't like spicy food. Where's though? I got to sit and be like that. I don't like that. Anywho. I like that. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I feel like this could be more like well seasoned because you really don't taste any seasoning. You just taste like the zesty cilantro-y. I don't taste no type of like garlic at all. Garlic sauce, I don't taste no type of garlic sauce at all. It says the rice is seasoned, but you really don't taste it. Um, 
like I said, you taste that. You taste the zesty cilantro y. <clears throat> um, you know, part of this bowl. Um, and then the black beans, you can really taste them as well. I mean, beans are good for you, but that's pretty much all you can taste. There's like, it could, I feel like it could add, it could, it could use some more seasoning. Now, I've never had Cuban, like real authentic Cuban food before. So I don't know if that's how it's supposed to taste, but I hope not. Cause if so, no shade, no tea, no tea, no shade, no disrespect. That needs to be a little more well seasoned. And I know y'all probably. Ah! Ah! She laughing. <laughs> y'all probably gonna be like, uh, bitch, it is a TV dinner. That's true. That is true. Um, but still, mm -mm. like not mm -mm, nasty, but do better. Anyway, we are at. 30 minutes and again like I said I didn't want to make this video long so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh basically like test taste honestly this wasn't really technically a moot moot bong but <clears throat> I do have I do have some videos coming up so stay tuned remember to always love yourself love God love others and I'll see you on the next video.